title for these Oceans movies be correct. There are not 11 Oceans. They're not 12 Oceans. They're not 13 Oceans. And they're not 8. When will they be correct? We will not be the prime suspect. Oceans 8. So Oceans 8 is like technically the fourth installment into the Oceans franchise. It's more, uh, I just called Oceans a franchise. How can there be a heist movie franchise? How does that work? Oceans 8 is not the eighth Oceans movie. It's the fourth one. So they don't know how to count, I guess. All right, so, okay, let's just get one. Debbie Ocean, this girl, she's Danny Ocean's sister, is trying to set up a heist so she gets... She gets eight people together, well, kind of, so, whatever, let's just say she gets eight people together, because I'm not going to do the math. And they do a heist to steal some jewels from a gala. In a really, really good heist movie. I was talking about expectations for this movie. First trailer came out, I, I was like, mm, this could be good. I mean, you look at it, the movie looks like it had some style to it, and it looks like it was going to be a good heist movie. Then the second trailer came out, and my expectations became a bit skeptical because I was worried that this was going to be an Oceans movie, but just with the whole female cast into it, for the sake of having an Oceans movie with the full female cast in it. And last time we had a franchise, and we took, <clears throat> and we made the whole cast just females, it didn't go well for anybody, nobody. Nobody benefited out of that movie. It's been two years and I still remember the horror to this day. And everybody's saying, oh, this looked like Ghostbusters 2016. Um, <clears throat> everybody was very worried. So I, and then after second show, I was like, maybe you guys are right. Thankfully, this movie proved me wrong. And I'm a pretty big fan of heist movies. I think the best would be Italian Job and Ocean's Eleven. And Ocean's 8 is pretty much a heist movie. That's the way to describe it. Just a heist movie. It's just a heist. I could pretty much go to any heist movie that comes to theaters. Like, when I heard Solo was in a heist movie, I was like, okay, sure, whatever, I like heist movies. And I saw it, sort of a heist movie. I have a whole review on Solo, Star Wars Story. If you want to hear my review of that, it's on my channel. We're reviewing Ocean's 8 right now. And... I really had a good time with this movie. The movie doesn't waste any time of making itself interesting and stylish. Like, there's this opening scene in the movie, not the opening scene, the second, maybe third scene in the movie. She, like, is doing something. I don't want to spoil it. And then, I just, like, the first scene, I was like, this is going to be good. And it was good. Granted, it's not hard for you to predict what movie I'm going to like at this time, because... Every time a movie gets a review, I always go extreme to that review. I didn't go extreme with Black Panther, but that's because I exactly agree with the Rotten Tomato score. I exactly agree with it. Here, I do not agree with the Rotten Tomato score. Solo, don't agree with that one. Infinity War, don't agree with that one. I usually go to the extreme, because you could also say that I don't agree with... Um, Oh, dog sh show dogs on um, thing. So granted, it's pretty easy to predict what I'm gonna like and what I'm not gonna like. Is this it says the low seventies? I'm gonna like it. However, comparing this to the masses of YouTube critics, I'm in the minority this time because I really, really enjoyed this movie. Granted, is it better than Ocean's Eleven? I'll talk about that later. But I believe it's more rewatchable than Ocean's Eleven. I've rewatched Ocean's Eleven, but I'm probably going to rewatch Ocean's Eight as well. And also, another thing in this movie this movie does the heist very well. <clears throat> um, like, when you have your character, when they're all starting to do the heist, I found it very cool, I found it very stylish, I found it very interesting when they were doing the heist. Other times, uh, granted, I thought during the heist was the most interesting part, but other than that, it wasn't so fascinating. To watch them assemble this team together. Of course, they do it fast. And they try and get to the interesting part. However, the movie just... Towards the beginning, 
it's a bit boring. Like, the beginning's pretty good, but then it kind of just, kind of just escalates down, and it kind of just slows down. Then the heist comes up, and then we have a fantastic score. I love the score in this movie. I'm going to listen to it a lot. I think it has a great score. Then all the costumes in this movie, all the dresses, everything, they were all great. And I think everybody did well in this movie. All eight of the people, I guess. They all did well. I thought Anne Hathaway did great. I thought on, if I'm remembering any, but any other actress's name, Rihanna. Okay, Rihanna, I was a bit worried for because, you know, pop artist says actresses. Ah, that doesn't ever work. Katy Perry from the Smurfs. Ah. Nope, I think she did well. I don't think she was the standout of the movie, but I thought she did pretty well. This is also the coolest movie of all year that doesn't involve guns or anybody getting killed at all. We see slight references back to Ocean's Eleven. Actually, only Ocean's Eleven. That's where the references go. Not to Ocean's Eleven. I don't. I didn't catch any twelve or thirteen ones. Maybe there were some, but I didn't catch them. This movie also lacks another thing: stakes. The stakes in this movie were not really there. Like there weren't. They didn't establish the stakes. I guess you could manipulate through the movie what the stakes were, but generally there weren't much stakes. And the first movie was kind of like. Uh, yeah, there are stakes, but in this movie, it switches it, and I felt like that switch didn't need to happen. Like, there's something that happens towards the end of this movie. If, you're th if you've seen it, you're probably thinking of a different thing I'm thinking of, where this one character does something, I am not going to spoil it, because I think you should see this movie, but I was kind of like, well, what was the point of that? Like, like now you kind of just ruin much suspense from the rest of the movie. In fact, I think if I want to get my opinion, I'm gonna need to do a spoiler talk. So I might do one. It'll come out maybe Friday or something. I just I just don't need to. I think if I make an Ocean's 8 spoiler talk on Friday, I'll be like, you're still talking about Ocean's 8? The Incredibles 2 is out. Yeah, I'll have to see it with my family. So, yeah, I don't get to see it on the release date. We have this deal at our Cinemark where if you see a movie on a Tuesday, it's like half off. So if, I, if you're going to take like four people to a movie and you and there's a Cinemark in your town, just go on Tuesday because it's half off. That's why my reviews come out on Tuesdays because that's the day I see the movies. I don't talk about that. In the end, Ocean's 8. I really enjoyed this movie. I highly recommend it. I think it lives up to what I think a Ho Ocean's movie should do. It wasn't like... A female cast in an Oceans movie for the sake of having a female cast in an Oceans movie. It was a good heist film. I generally liked everything Oceans 8 gave me. I will give Oceans 8 an 8. No freaking crap. So what are you guys' thoughts on Oceans 8? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm not going to be doing many reviews. I mean, since I already did my Incredibles review, the first one, I am not going to do a lot of reviews. I'll do a Jurassic World review later in the month, but yeah. See you guys next time.